What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, my peeps, my peoples. What's going on? Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated. Peep Squad is in the building, baby. And just last night, Portia Williams responded to an article on, on Vulture. It, it's a little complicated, but it's been making the rounds on social media. How is your relationship with, with Portia? Is, is, how's it going? Um, I mean, I don't really know, honestly. Um, as far as I knew, we were, you know, cool this, you know, when we left the reunion and then this article came out and then now I guess she's on social media. So I have no idea, to be honest, like, you know, what the where her what the point was that she was trying to make i'm i'm confused to be honest hmm. so so it caught you by surprise <laughs> okay um well i mean i guess not i mean at the end of the day the article talked about a scene that was deleted well that was not used in the show okay whatever. and um you know obviously there were things in that scene that you know were not um you know positive a positive look you know in her eyes mm -hmm. and so with that being said she wasn't happy about it then and of course she's not happy about it being discussed now so i don't really know what to say about that because I asked for it to be taken out, right? Now, we know that a lot of housewives, they have power over the years and they may be able to go and ask the heads to take something out, right? It is what it is. I have worked very hard to get to where I am in life. I have worked very hard on this show. And if I've gotten to a place where I can call the execs up and get something taken out, so be it, right? However, in this particular situation, the, the way that Kenya is putting it out there that I asked the Bravo execs to not play a scene of Candy and I having an argument, having a fight, me dogging Candy about her efforts is concerning Black Lives Matter is simply not true. What happened was, we're going to take it from the beginning. Nene who was on our show, it's, uh, you know, at that last season, you know, NeNe was on the show. Y'all know who the cast is. Anyway, NeNe was doing an article and she was, she sent some private text messages to a particular blogger and the blogger put out the text messages and they were received out of context. The text messages, the way the blogger put it out there was that I and uh, I, that Candy went behind the cast back and went to Bravo to try to get some programming done without telling us which blindsided us and which should make Candy look bad. So Candy got upset with that and Candy um, decided to confront me about it on Housewives. So the whole season has happened. I mean, the beginning of the season happened and I had not seen any of the cast. This was my first scene with the cast, which was Todd's birthday. I walked into Todd's birthday and I was told Candy wanted to question me about something. And I said, okay, that's fine. I haven't done anything. Happy to answer any of her questions. As soon as I walked into um, the party, Candy wanted to ask me about these texts. There's some texts out there that, you know, you're talking about what I was trying to get done for Black Lives Matter, etc. We were having a decent conversation. It was nothing to be upset about. And, and, and I thought, okay, this is fine because I have the text messages to prove that I never dogged you out. I've been full, fully supportive of you, Candy, in Black Lives Matter. And whatever you're doing for our people, I love it. I'm right here for you. So anyway, the scene, the, the scene continues, Kenya comes over, it turns into an argument. So at that moment, I decide, you know what, this isn't a good look. We as black women should not be arguing on this show about Black Lives Matter. That is not what we need to do. I went to um, Bravo 
they decided after I explained everything to them that they agreed, you know what? I don't think that will be a good look. That is not the purpose we want in showing the black experience and what you guys are going through with Black Lives Matter. So they decided that they did not want to air that, period. And it was done. After that scene, I text Candy. And I said, um, you know, she. I, I asked her, we, we, well, we had a conversation on the phone, and then we text, right? And the whole point of me reaching out to her or her reaching out to me was so we could clear it up, right? Because what I didn't want was another person of such influence like Candy, right? To think that I would dare not respect what she's doing for black people, I, that I was trying to hinder her. But this is the perfect opportunity for me to explain to you what actually happened. Because I don't want you to think that anything messy was going on with your name at all. So this is me clearing it up with Candy. So she went on to tell me what the texts were, you know, that she was upset. It pissed her off. She said she was pissed off, honestly, because she didn't think that her reaching out to the network without telling us was, um, you know, going to upset us. And I was there to let her know that it wasn't about you upsetting us. It was about the fact that we just simply wanted to do it as a collective. Because at that moment, we had not talked to anyone from the network whatsoever. And the world is going haywire. And we wanted our company to represent black folks. Period. That's what it was. So I explained to her what the text was. I repeated that, listen... I understand that you already sent in a request. I don't want to go behind you. Because if I go behind you or any of us girls go and ask the same thing, now you got confusion. And anytime you're in a movement, everybody has to be th speaking the same thing. And so when she told me that she had already reached out, we felt like, okay, fine, let's leave it alone. So then I told uh, Nene, Marlo, and... I told Nene, Marlo, and uh, uh, Tanya, I said, let's pivot. Since Candy has already talked to the executives, let's just deal with, um, let's just deal with getting money. Let's have them do a donation. That's it. Let's just have them do a donation. Because if we don't want to undercut, we don't want to send the same. Um, and but anyway, I sent her the text. So we're going to look at these texts. The reason why I am going through this and this is the last time I will talk about it. The only time I will talk about it is because now it's in an article, Food Vulture, that Bravo participated in, that Candy and all the housewives and everybody, it's a big article, right? So it carries some weight and it's said to be credible. And I want to make sure that the credibility is upheld so I'm speaking and defending myself which I should have the right to do. So anyway, these are the texts that I sent her that I talked about with Candy. So I said to her, I was talking to Nene, and I said, oh, yeah, I was talking to Nene, and I said, so because all of that, this is me saying that Candy emailed, I wish we would have known what happened. I'm going to put all of these texts into my story after this live, so don't worry. I said, so because of that, which was because Candy had already spoke to them, it is what it is, we're not upset about it because she did, let's pivot so we can still be effective. I said, so because of that, I don't think it's going to go anywhere besides asking for a donation. Nene said, right. So then, I, then, so then I said to her, I said, now there is no way to come to Bravo as a group Everyone might as well send their own email. I said anything program related would have been, uh, I said anything program related, we would want Truth to produce, which is our production company, and pitch to Bravo because we are Bravo talent. So you will go through True in order to pitch any programming to the network. So then, so then I said, so for me really, when we talk to the executives tomorrow, I said, I really think we should focus on asking for uh, for a donation ask. I said, as for the rest of the ladies, they can express what they want in their own. So we as a group, since Candy, you know, on her own right, she had the right to, went ahead and talked to them on her own. We as a group 
The only way we're going to really be effective at this point is if we simply ask for a donation. So then I tell her, I, fit, I, I just kind of summarized what that text was with Nene. And I said to her, I said, I'm not going to let the show make a mockery of BLM. I said, we have been doing great things and cannot let this overshadow our efforts. This is what I said to Candy. She said to me, I didn't think it was about BLM. She said, I'm definitely not trying to make a mockery. She said, but I didn't think that's what was happening. So that's an opportunity for me to explain to her, Candy, that no, this is a mockery. If we as black women are sitting on, if we as black women are sitting on uh, Bravo arguing about Black Lives Matter, you're absolutely making a mockery of us using our platform. And that's a bad thing. And it's a terrible look. And it's not progressive. It's counterproductive. So then I sent her another text. I sent her that, that text that I just read you guys. And I sent another text. Okay. After I said that, you need to feel the same. So then this is the part where so-called I was dogging her. Kenya keeps going on all these outlets. Now she's on Vulture. Saying that I, but you know, saying that I want to look better. I want to be ahead of the movement. She said on Candy Speak on it that I am trying to ruin, that come at Candy and all that. That I dogged Candy out. I was talking crap about Candy. This is what I said. I said, Nene said, I feel the same. I said, sad though. Damn, could have been even, could have even great together. Of course, it meant could have even been. Could have been even great together. Nene said, very sad. After she said, very sad, I said, but if any of you ladies want my individual support or on something, let me know. Nene said, okay, P. Nene never dog walked Candy. I never spoke bad about Candy. All we were saying, and I'll sum it all up, is that there was a misunderstanding between Candy and I about a blogger who took something out of context. Candy had gone on to the uh, Bravo and spoke to them. Nene and I felt like, well, that's sad. We could have gone to Bravo together, but since this is where we are, let's pivot and just ask for, um, let's pivot. All of that is great. And to show you that I felt it was great, when she did her first show, I was on the show with her. You guys remember me on the panel for Black Lives Matter for Bravo. That was Candy show that I participated in. I have always supported her and will always support another black woman in the movement and anything she's trying to do. Whether so therefore, I did not want that to be on the show, whether it was true or not, whether it was a misunderstanding or not, whether I was right or wrong, which I happen to have been right. I did not want it on there. But Kenya Moore continues to go on every platform out and the Bravo is telling her, do not talk about this. And she's using it to say, Portia's trying to silence me from talking about a scene she had deleted. No, I didn't have a scene deleted for Portia. Because what you don't understand, sweetheart, is that the movement is not about me as an individual at all. And that means, and you would understand that if you could sacrifice something for someone else. Anything I've ever done on a majority off camera is a sacrifice for someone else. If I care so much about who I was, my platform, my jobs, my businesses, then I would not be speaking out about something that white folks don't like. And, it, and that's so that's not the case. I speak from my heart. I deal in my heart because it's in my blood. It's in my legacy. And I am only speaking on this now because there is an article out. I want me and Candy, and if Kenya could get her mind right, in the future to be able to do something. Mainly Candy. I respect her. I hate that this has been put out there. I hate that she didn't clear this up the way I'm clearing it up. Because that would have also been helpful to this situation. If when Ken, Kenya was saying these things, it you will also show that it was not anybody dogging you out. It wasn't negative. It was nothing like that. So again, my 30,000 people in here, let me talk about what really matters to me.
Let me take the focus away from what Kenya is trying to spew out there as negative on every single platform and how Candy, who is also, you know, she's clearing it up. She's making sure it's known that she and I didn't, that she and I talked about it. But things like this, we got to make all the way clear, all the way clear. If you went and talked to the execs to get stuff done, get, you know, programming that you executive producer over, great. But as a cast of black women on Bravo Network, we needed to figure out how to come together. And Nene called me and said, since you're friends with the other girls, see if you can get them together and we can make something happen. That's why there were two different chats because Kenya, can't, Kenya and Nene weren't talking. But Nene said, I don't want to get everybody together. And we actually all got on a phone call and got something done as a collective using our power and not just sitting on here, you know, doing that. We were doing something that meant something. So I don't want no negative narrative out there about myself or Candy. And can you believe it or not? You're black, honey. And anything that I'm doing, anything I'm speaking on, it could benefit you too. So you should try to be better. But I'm not going to address what's up peeps what's going on as you guys know Portia had to you know jump on instagram and basically explain herself and explain the situation that went down because she felt that she wasn't being represented correctly and the situation that went down wasn't being represented correctly when it came to the vulture you know article and so she had to jump on instagram and speak on the situation and also williams declined to comment for the story on vulture so she could have got her word out in the vulture article but she chose not to she declined she was busy maybe something else was going on or whatever the case may be but then she read the vulture article and she had to jump on instagram to defend herself and we do have candy and she's talking about what Candy and what Kenya Moore said. And so some of the article basically talks about, you know, what Candy said that she, you know, she wrote a letter to the executives and basically she wanted to change, you know, the hiring process. She wanted more black people to be there, more, you know, black young people from colleges get internships there and things of that nature and also have more black owned production companies, you know, hired and actually Candy end up becoming an EP, you know, with the PSA about racism and black lives matter so in any event candy burris did her thing so it is what it is and also it says candy shared the contents of the letter with her castmates including williams tanya sams and marlo hampton also discussed it with former co-star nini leaks candy expected the other women to be pleased but in a separate exchange over text messages so you got that situation with the text messages and here are the text messages. You can catch them on the Peach Report on Instagram. The Daily Peach Report. So in any event, you know, Candy discussed it with former co-star Nene Leakes. Candy expected the other ladies to be pleased, but in a separate exchange over text messages, they expressed annoyance that Candy had gone to Bravo without telling them. Burris did not understand why a private professional correspondent needed to be ran past her castmates and she didn't understand why Williams was so bothered and she was bothered that Williams was not supportive and so this is the point where you know um, Miss Portia Williams had to jump in because Portia said I was supportive and you're talking about these text messages and these text messages proved that her and Nene was not dog walking. Nene and Portia, you know, did not dog walk, you know, um, Candy Burris at all. Point blank period. That's what it seems like to me in them text messages. They may have been disappointed because they would think that working together as a group would be, you know, we can ask for all the things that we finally want, all the things that, you know, that we have not been treated right. We can ask for, we can ask for hair and makeup. We can ask for daycare. We can ask for, you know, um, breaks and things of that nature because it's alleged that there is, you know, they don't get breaks and they have to pay for their own hair and makeup and their stylist if they're not all shooting a scene together or they're not all together at once. So basically it costs people some money and also they don't have health insurance. And this is coming from, you know, Michelle Brown, from you know youtube so when they say the blogger especially when portia says the blogger you know misconstrued or took it out of context she's talking about michelle brown because allegedly you know michelle brown got the you know text messages first before anybody 
And with this situation, you know, she was able to talk about it. And I guess it got back to Candy. And, you know, Portia basically is saying that, you know, the way that Michelle Brown presented the receipts, it seemed like, you know, the ladies were upset with Candy because she went behind their back. And Michelle Brown said, no, that's not the way that she expressed it. She just read the text messages. And from there, they came up with their own conclusion of the situation. So you guys let me know what you think about that situation. But in any event, you know... Candy Burris basically said, you know, in the article that, you know, she, she was, you know, she was bothered that, you know, um, Williams was not supportive. And Candy said, quote it in the article, they say they were upset because I did not include them, she tells me. And so this is what Candy says. And so this is why Portia jumped on and said, hey, yo, that, that didn't happen like that. It didn't go down like that. So don't do that to me. And basically she addresses Kenya Moore because Kenya Moore basically has been talking about the situation and talking about a scene that has been deleted because, you know, Kenya basically addressed Portia Williams at an event and asked her why, like, she's not supporting, you know, Candy Burris and things of that nature. And if she's really for Black Lives Matter, why is she... After Portia and Candy Burris had a conversation, they squashed everything. That's when Kenya Moore came into the situation. And basically, they had an argument. And Portia Williams did not want the argument to be shown on TV because they're fighting over Black Lives Matter, who's representing, who's taking over, you know, who's going to be the face of the situation. And so, you know, Portia Williams has been, you know, involved in Black Lives Matter. She has been arrested. She has been protesting. She has did a lot of things. So basically, she didn't want it to look like, you know, they're fighting about lives matter and who is in charge of it for TV purposes. So she got the scene cut out. So that tells you right there that Portia Williams got some clout. She got some power in the situation. I was like, Lord have mercy, Portia done stepped up. But in any event, you know, Portia did ask for the scene to be deleted and it was deleted or it was not shown on TV. But in any event, you know, the situation with Kenya Moore was shown on TV where Kenya Moore basically was saying on TV that Williams was getting arrested for attention, you know, and they should have cut that out. If they was going to cut out the argument between Kenya Moore and Portia Williams and Candy Burris, they should have cut off the situation what Kenya Moore had said about Portia getting arrested for, you know, attention and she's not really being sincere they should have cut that out and that way you know we we wouldn't be like oh my god kenya moore is coming after portia williams and portia williams is doing something for black lives matter but there was a reason why you know um kenya moore basically addressed the situation and said something about it because she heard about these text messages too as well and so you know she thought it wasn't, you know, that Portia was being negative, that Nene was being negative towards Candy Burris, and it wasn't really supportive, you know, of Candy Burris because Portia Williams wanted to be the face of the situation. So in any event, you know, they should have called all that out because people was attacking Kenya Moore and saying that why is she jealous of Portia? Why is she coming after Portia? But she had a reason because of these text messages. And also Candy re iterated this situation and what went down in a vulture you know article she didn't clear it up like like oh no there was no problem between me and Portia Williams you know what I mean but there was like a misunderstanding with these text messages and it, it came out that Portia was supportive and Nene was supportive she did not say that in the vulture article so it looks like the situation is still out there where Candy is cool with Portia but in any event you know that situation did happen and Candy believed you know that Portia and Nini were talking negative about her and Candy and Kenya can also believe that when the text messages was leaked from Nini to allegedly blogger Michelle Brown that you know it was coming from Nini leaks and so whatever was you know said on Michelle Brown's show they believe that you know it's Nini's word so they could believe that okay there's still beef going on in the situation because this happened like over a year ago but in any of any used to keep entertaining the people or throwing daggers at one another but anyways you guys let me know what you feel about the situation but Kenya Moore was you know quoted in an article saying Kenya Moore said that Williams was getting arrested for attention Kenya interviewed and basically said Portia wanted to be one the only one that was the face of the movement 
for TV purposes. And so, you know, that is cut out. And so, poor, so it's looking like, oh my God, Portia came after, you know, Candy with Nene and attacked her and because she wanted to be the face of it. And then Portia said, no, that didn't happen. Candy went to the execs before us. So in any event, we were, you know, we had to do it separately. We had to request things separately and go on our separate ways. So you guys tell me what you think about the situation.